Peter van Dalen, are you happy with, with the way this whole affair has been handled so far? No, not enough. You see, there was a lack of coordination between the member states on the closing of our uh, airspace and the passengers were not uh, good informed. They had to wait for a long time to have any information, so that should be improved. Some states were looking at the same data and coming to different conclusions. Well, that's not the case. You see, there's one advisory body in Europe, that's Eurocontrol, and Eurocontrol advises the member states what to do. But they did one thing wrong. They were too rigid in their approach. They advised to close the whole airspace above Europe, and that was a measure too rigid and not necessary. What worries many businessmen is that Europe could be closed for the foreseeable future. Well, we have to change that, and that's why there is now a working party led by Mr. Callas, and you have to make a risk analysis. You have to compare satellite pictures and results of test flights, and when you have that, and when you have do have that information, you can say we close a certain part, and another part of the airspace we leave open for certain corridors or under certain conditions, such as daylight. So we have to change the system. Let's bring this closer to home. What's the knock-on effect likely to be, do you think, on Parliament's legislative programme? Well, that's not that big, you see. We should have had votes this week in Parliament, and that is postponed now for two weeks, and that's the most uh, difficult thing we face now, that the voting is postponed. But 300 members aren't here. It's surprising that doesn't have an effect. Well, I hope it has one effect, that we stop gathering here in Strasbourg and we stay in Brussels all the time. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome.